I'm going to show you how to build some PLE commands that allow you to filter through your orchestral templates to show specific articulations. Here I'm using my Musio Mega template, which is available over at poundsound.uk if you're interested. Let's get cooking. Head over to your track visibility agents, then open up the project logical editor. Make sure you've removed any event target filters, transform actions, pre and post commands, and that the filter condition at the bottom is set to transform. Next, we're going to add two filter targets. The first filter target, we're going to change parameter 1 from audio to MIDI. For the second filter target, we're going to change it from media type to name, then the condition to contains not, then enter in the articulation we want to view. In this case, I want to see all of my legato tracks. Now at the bottom here in the event transform actions, add a new action, change the action target to track operation, change the operation to hide track, then in parameter one, leave it as enabled. So basically this command is going to look through the entire project. Any tracks that do not contain the word legato that are MIDI are going to be hidden from view. So when we click apply, you can see that it's now only shown us any tracks in the project that have legato. You will need to be conscious about how you name your tracks to get these commands to work. Make sure you have a decent naming scheme, otherwise things can get a little bit sketchy. Now, you may be wondering, I can just save this as a command, map it to a key, and then I can use it just for legatos, and then you can go through and, I don't know, add a different articulation, save it, blah, blah, blah. However, this won't work because if I hit apply now, you can see how everything's screwed up here. And that's because we need to force Cubase to reset the view first before applying our commands. If you're using Cubase 13, this is really easy because you can add a pre and post command here by clicking the plus symbol, and the one we want to add is under channel and track visibility. It's called agents show all channels slash tracks. This means it will show all the tracks first before executing the command. In this case, it's going to show me all my spiccatos. Now, if you want to create some variations of this command, uh, so one where it hides the disabled tracks or one where it only shows the tracks with events on, let me show you how to set this up. Add another event target filter at the top and then change it to property. Now first of all, let's do one where it hides the disabled tracks. So for the condition, change this to property is set and then in parameter one, change this to is disabled. Now this isn't going to work straight away because we need to set up the boolean. For this, first filter, open single bracket. For the second filter, closed single bracket then change it from AND to OR. Now, this will allow us to hide the disabled tracks and only show our spiccatos. Now, if you want this to be a version where it only shows you the events, then you can change the property parameter one here to is empty, and then hit apply, and it will only show you the spiccato tracks with events on. For older versions of Cubase, let me show you how you would set this up because you won't have the pre and post commands section. So here I'm going to remove this. And for our spiccato that only shows the tracks with events on, I'm going to save as a preset. So YT spiccato. And then you would go to edit, key commands, and then create a new macro. Name your macro something appropriate. And then up here, type out show, and then filter through the results, and under channel and track visibility, add show all channels and tracks as the first command. And then afterwards, you would add your PLE command that you've created in the macro. And then once you've done that, you can bind it to a keystroke, and then you would go ahead and create a new macro uh, for the next articulation that you want to set up. And that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, give it a thumbs down. And as always, thanks for your time.